Hello Capricorn, Summon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with for Capricorn. We have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Now, for some of you, you could be connecting with a Libra. Specifically, it doesn't necessarily have to be the case, of course. This could definitely indicate a breakup between two people, but it could also represent healing and just overall distance here between two people but we'll see what it's more so leaning towards we're going to focus on you first and then we're going to jump over to them so keep in mind you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me and that's okay just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with how does capricorn currently view this relationship Ooh. we have the ace of pentacles okay we also have the Ace of Swords, and then we have the King of Pentacles. Okay. Ooh, Capricorn. How does this person currently view this relationship with Capricorn? We have the uh, Chariot, and then we have Justice. There we go, with the Hierophant bottom of the deck we also have the two of cups okay now in reference to how you're currently viewing this relationship capricorn if it's one thing that i will say is that whoever this person is that's trying to pursue you in a serious relationship with you i think it's safe to say that this human is in love especially with the fool i mean the fool is the fool in love right i feel like whatever this person is capricorn this is somebody who has a lot of love for you. This is somebody who's in love with you. I think it's safe to say, especially with the full being out here and the two of cups, this is somebody who's very much so in love with you. Not only that, but I feel like this person's really, really serious, man. Like, I feel like this person's really serious about establishing higher levels of commitment with you as concerned. However, it kind of looks like this person has a very difficult time manifesting the type of connection that they want with you into fruition because it kind of looks like currently at the moment capricorn you just kind of want to focus on you and your finances and your career and your life it just kind of looks like currently at the moment these two people want two different things and i always say this about capricorns i feel like all capricorns do is focus on their money and mind their business but it just kind of looks like you're dead serious okay about focusing on you and your career and your own personal life it just kind of looks like you're not really making room, Capricorn, for this connection between you and them to kind of flourish and grow, okay? Um, and I can kind of, I can kind of see that you're very determined, right, to focus on you, right, and your overall independence because it kind of looks like you have been experiencing a lot of ups and downs here between you and this person, mainly because, well, you want to focus on you and your career and they want to focus on flourishing a connection with you. You see what I'm saying? So it kind of looks like the two of you just don't necessarily see eye to eye currently at the moment. You want what you want and they want what they want. And it kind of looks like what they want clashes with what you want and then vice versa. But yeah i kind of feel like whoever this person is man despite the fact that yes they're experiencing a lot of ups and downs here between you and them i just kind of feel like this person wants what they want and they're also kind of coming in with this energy of they know that they have their work cut out here for them especially when it comes down to you because you're very firm on this is what i'm gonna do and that's that. So it's kind of like you're refusing to honestly budge here with this person, Capricorn. But despite the fact that this person knows that they kind of have their work cut out here for them, when it comes on to manifesting the connection that they want with you into fruition, they refuse to give up on you. They really do refuse to give up on you and what it is that they want with you. I mean, that's love, dude. That's fucking love, man. But you're just like... Yeah, no, like, I just really want to focus on my career and work and money and, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that, nor does that make you the bad guy. They might be making you out to be the bad guy because you want to focus on you and your career and things like that. There's nothing wrong with that. But understand, dude, that it's coming from a place of them honestly having true and genuine feelings towards you and them honestly wanting to, you know, build towards something meaningful with you. All right, how does Capricorn feel? Yep. Yeah. 
we have the four of wands we also have the three of cups and then we have the nine of pentacles you know when it comes down to this person in particular i think that you can definitely see yourself having a future with this person you definitely can you just don't necessarily feel like you're in that space just yet, you know, because I feel like you really do want to take this time out to really focus on you and your overall independence. You know what I mean? So it just kind of looks like you're not saying no. You're not saying no to having a future with this person later on down the line, but you're just not ready to fully commit yourself to this person as of right now. It just kind of looks like you need a little bit more time. That's it. But here's the thing, right? Because I kind of feel like that's why you're having a lot of trouble with this person. Because you are kind of not necessarily giving this person what it is that they want, which is a commitment, you know, with you. Um, it might cause this person to feel like you are kind of playing head games with them. I don't feel like you are playing head games with them. And it's not me coming from a place I'm trying to defend you at all. I don't feel like you are playing head games with this person. But... I think that you're just that type of person that really does want to focus on, you know, getting your life together and getting your stuff together before you go off and build towards absolutely anything with absolutely anyone. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, nor does that make you a bad person. But, you know, from this person's perspective, they might think, oh, Capricorn's just trying to play these little head games with me. They're just playing me. I don't feel like you are playing them. That's my thing. I just kind of feel like you're that type of person that you really want to make sure that you have your shit together before you jump into actually, you know, anything with absolutely anyone. And I feel like that applies to everybody. You know, whether this person decides to walk out of your life today, for perfect example, the next person that comes along, I see you kind of, you know, doing the same exact thing. Until you feel like you've reached this point, Capricorn, in your life where you're content with where you're at, then you'll start building towards a meaningful connection with someone. But as of right now, you just don't feel like you're in that space just yet. But you're not saying no to this person or no to what the two of you could possibly have in the future. You're just not ready just yet. And that's fine. How does, I mean, how does this person feel? We have the Wheel of Fortune, we also have the Queen of Wands, and then we have Judgment. This person definitely feels that they can change your mind, okay? They feel pretty confident that they can change your mind and they can convince you to take them and this relationship with them seriously. Again, this person is very determined when it comes down to what they want with you. This is somebody who wants a commitment with you, Capricorn. Again, you don't mind spending time with them. You don't mind talking to them. You don't mind hanging out with them. You don't mind building towards a future with them. You just don't want to do it right now. What actions will Capricorn take towards this person or moving forward? We have the Ten of Swords. We also have the Two of Swords. And then we have the Four of Cups. Yeah. How does, um? I mean, what actions will this person take towards Capricorn? I mean, they really freaking want you, dude. They really do want you. They really, really do want you. I can tell how much this person really does want you. And I feel like this is somebody... You see, and that's the thing, you know, when it comes down to the both of you. I think that you're looking at this person like, yeah, like this is somebody that I can see myself having a future with. I'm just not ready for all of that right now, you know? But if it's one thing that I will say is this... It kind of looks like because this person is so freaking determined to manifest the type of relationship that they want with you into fruition, it's kind of putting you in this place of definitely considering and bringing this relationship to an end because it's causing you to essentially feel like this person is not respecting how you essentially feel, right? You feel like you're not ready. You feel like you need a little bit more time to kind of focus on you and your overall independence and getting your life together way before you jump into any sort of relationship with absolutely anyone. But it's causing you to feel like, okay, this person's not respecting my wishes. They're not respecting my wishes because I'm telling them, right? And I feel like you're open and honest and I feel like you're pretty blunt and straightforward with this person. Like, I feel like you are telling this person that you're not ready for all of this. You just kind of want to focus on you. And once you get to that point where you feel pretty good about where you're at within your own personal life then I see you building towards a relationship with this person but I feel like this person's so determined to get what they want here that 
it might cause you to feel like, okay, they're just simply not respecting my wishes, right? But even then, like moving forward, we have the moon with the magician and the seven of wands. I mean, this is somebody who's pretty fucking determined to manifest the connection that they want with you into fruition, even though they don't necessarily see, you know, anything really happening here between you and them as of right now, mainly because you're kind of like putting your foot down, like, no, I want to focus on me. You know, they're still determined to make this happen. Either which way you want to look at the situation, they're still determined to make this happen between you and them. They're putting up a fight for what they want. And there's nothing wrong with that either. You know, I feel like they really do want you, but <sighs> I kind of feel like a lot of you are going to find yourself definitely taking into consideration whether or not you should kind of end things with this person, but it's coming from a place of this person's just simply not respecting my wishes and you don't like that because it's putting you in this weird place. It really is. It's putting you in this place of, well, I either have to give this person the commitment they want out of me or I have to cut them off, you know? So I'm not saying that you're going to end things with this person, but oh boy, you're definitely going to consider and definitely ending things here between you and this person. But again, I just feel like they want what they want, you want what you want, and fortunately, the two of you just can't quite seem to see eye to eye currently at the moment, okay? Any advice for Capricorn? <clears throat> We have engagement. We also have romantic feelings. And then we have release your ex. This is very interesting, Capricorn, because your advice is very simple. Love yourself first is very similar to the Nine of Pentacles, which you do have on your end. If you just want to focus on you and your overall independence, it's basically kind of saying that you might want to let this person go because if you don't let this person go and you continue to talk to them, interact with them, spend time with them, have sleepovers with them, you know, all of these things, their feelings are just going to continue to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. And this whole wanting this commitment out of you is just going to continue to intensify. It's not going to go away. It's not going to decrease. It's just going to further intensify. So I kind of see you already in that place, to be completely honest, where it's like, you know what you're getting yourself into. You know exactly what you're getting yourself into. And it kind of looks like, again, you may not know what to do. You may not know if ending things between you and this person is the right thing to do or sticking around is the right thing to do. You don't really know what to do, but your advice is, well, if you want to focus on you, that's cool. Focus on you, but just understand that the more you continue to interact with this person and involve yourself with this person, their feelings are just going to continue to grow. That's it. This is not going to change. See, this is somebody who's very consistent and persistent when it comes down to what they want with you. So their feelings are not going to go away. They're not going to stop pursuing you and the type of relationship that they want with you because they want what they want. And this is somebody who's very determined to get what they want. So it's kind of like either get with the program or get with the program. That's how they're kind of looking at this whole entire situation. Either you're going to get with the program, Capricorn, or you're going to get with the program. Kind of looks like you have no choice, you know? And I feel like you know that and you're going to see that very, very soon. So yeah. Huh. But overall, good person though. I feel like this is a really good person. I feel like they mean well. You just, you're just not there yet and that's okay. But hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.